Has the loadouts in the shop finally been fixed in Phasmophobia with the latest update? Well, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the new loadouts and the shop. So I definitely think that there is a lot of quality of life improvements that went on with this. So let's get going with that. So as you see, we're going to start out here with no items. If you want to add items, I'm going to click on over to the shop. And so it looks a little bit different. But you actually now have three different options. You have all, which will automatically add all the items for you. If that is what you want, easy. If like I have no items right now. So if I were to buy and hit auto add, which is a new feature that they did, you're going to start out with all of those items all the time, but you do have to go back in and buy it. But I don't want to do that yet because I want to show you some other things. So when you look down here at numbers one and two, OK, one and two, these are going to be your two loadouts. So maybe you might have a different single player one versus a multiplayer one. So let's say for single player, I'm fine with just one of each of the base items in the truck, which you can see now with a little yellow orange symbol that shows you one out of six. Cause that shows that's the default items. So I don't want to add any of that, but what I do know I want to add is just one of everything. So let's say that I want one of everything. You know what? We'll just add that in there. Either one. So one of everything, because why not? This is what we want our loadout to be. Okay. Like each time we're going to have one of every item. So we hit the plus sign to have one. Now I don't actually own these items right now. So whatever you set your loadout as you want it to, you got to buy it next. Uh, so like, let's say that I typically play this a lot. So I want to auto add this and then I want to buy it. Okay, now we still have to add it for now, but that's going to change because let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so now we add it. We go over here to the equipment list and it's all there. So one of every item is what we have. So now let's say we want to completely remove everything, but we have auto add still selected. Okay, now we're going here. We have nothing, but I'm going to leave because you know what? we're done but then i decide you know what maybe not maybe i do want to be there boom automatically there that is awesome you can have your setup and automatically add it now if you happen to die you do have to go back and buy these if you do not have them but it just makes it so much better this is loadout one we have nothing on loadout two is what i had set for the single player one it's all there we have it so now let's say for instance you're newer and you're only trying to buy some of the items right like if you were buying it so here's what you have to do okay let's say for instance you wanted two extra cameras so what you would do you would go to click on the shop and storage section up here at the top and we want to buy two extra cameras because we want to make more money and that's how we're going to make more money now if we want to add those we can add it like this way to our inventory and you're going to see that we now have three photo cameras and if we just like remove everything typically if you're newer you may end up dying more unfortunately which would be uh terrible but we're just going to remove all of those uh, and it should have removed it all out of the inventory yes yeah. so like if we just bought those two cameras and we wanted to add them you could go to shop slash storage and if you're worried you might lose it again we have the two we're gonna add the the two i think we already have it though but we can just add those two add it then it's gonna be there under photo camera we have three photo camera i think it's a lot easier now they do have the all option there and you can auto add all the items you can still set it up and if you do need to go all you got to do is quickly hit buy and you know you're still good and if you survive you're going to get to keep all of your items so hopefully that makes sense for you all if you have any questions let me know shop storage is what you're going to do if you don't have a custom loadout and you're just trying to buy extra items to add you would go in here loadouts wise making yourself a custom loadout with whatever it is that you want that's sort of going to be how it works now it all auto saves as well so it's all auto saved because as you can see here i haven't messed with it it's all auto saved we can add those and now they're back into our equipment a lot of items going on with this and maybe you're confused about how the items work well click or tap the screen now to see the top five items to find where the ghost room is in phasmophobia like the video if you like to subscribe if you want to see more information on the phasmophobia updates and i'll see you in the next one